Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with an update for my lipstick roulette. So as per normal, I'm going to jump straight in to show you the lipsticks that I had in the roulette for the last round. And the first one I have is from Revlon. And this is one of their Just Bits and Kissable Balm Stains in the shade Darling. This is quite a unique shade um, and it definitely looks more purple in the tube than it does on the lips. Um, it's a very, very cool toned um, kind of purpley pink. And it is a really pretty color. Uh, I just haven't reached for this much. Initially, I wanted to keep this because it is quite a unique shade. But the more I kind of wore it and the more I played around with it, I feel like this is something that I wouldn't reach for very often. I feel like this is a beautiful shade and I think it would suit a lot of people, but it doesn't suit me that well. I think it still looks good on me, but it just isn't the perfect lipstick for me. Uh, and since purchasing this one, I do have more similar shades to this one in my collection as well that I do prefer. So because of that reason, I will be decluttering this one. Um, just because I don't reach for it and I don't think it's the best formula anymore. Um, and although being a unique shade, I just don't reach for it. Uh, so this will have to leave my collection. And that is the first shade swatched on my hand. Next up we have a lipstick from MAC and this one is one of their Luster formulas in the shade Plumful. This lipstick from MAC is quite a well known shade and it's a beautiful like everyday kind of colour. I would probably reach for this more in the fall time rather than the spring time but I did enjoy wearing this tons over the last two weeks. Although reaching for this quite a bit I didn't reach for it too much or as much as I think I would have if I wasn't in the kind of makeup period as I am right now. Because since I am panning quite a lot of warm toned eyeshadows I don't think this is the best lipstick to go with it. Um, for example the look I'm wearing today is quite warm toned and I didn't think it should suit that look perfectly but um, it is a stunning shade and I love wearing this so so much in fall and winter time especially and also like just to throw this on if I want to kind of have um, a minimal makeup day but I want something on my lips with a bit of color but it's not too intense then I reach for this one quite a bit um, so as you can probably guess this one is staying in my collection because I do really really love this lipstick and there we have MAC Plumful swatched on my hand Next up we have another high-end lipstick, but this one is from YSL, and this one is one of their Rouge Volopt Shines in number 6. This is a formula that I used to like, however in the last year or so I have fallen in love with it. I think this is one of my favourite formulas just for everyday kind of use, because it's so comfortable to wear, it's very hydrating and it gives kind of the perfect amount of colour. The colour of this is really really pretty, but again I don't think it kind of went with my eyeshadow looks this month that much, but I did wear it quite a bit still. Um, it is again a really nice colour to throw on, and this one is definitely more spring appropriate than the last one. But I kind of wear them in the same way, and when I wear a kind of mascara, maybe eyeliner, and use a very minimum face, um, I like throwing these kind of lipsticks on because they don't overpower because they are bright, but since they are a bit more sheerer, they don't overpower the no makeup kind of look or like minimal like makeup kind of look if that makes sense. So yeah, I love this shade, uh, I love the formula and this will definitely be staying in my collection. And there we have the YSL lipstick swatched on my hand. Next up we have a lipstick that is a bit <laughs> tricky to introduce because this one is from Primark and it doesn't have a shade name at all. You just have kind of a few letters and numbers at the bottom which is PS2493-00. Don't know what that means, if that's the name or what, but it's used this really bright corally shade. This one, I love the shade of. It's a very bright but still wearable kind of shade. It's really pretty and I love wearing this in the summer and also in the spring. However, the formula of this is not that nice. Well, this part of the formula that I do like is very lightweight on the lips. I like the way it feels, but the taste of it is awful, the smell of it is awful. It just wears off really really easily and yeah, um, it's not the best formula. So I'm really torn what to do with this lipstick because I do love the shade and I'm not sure if I have anything similar in my collection. However, the formula, like I said, I'm not a fan of. So I think what I decided to do with this one is that I will put this in a maybe palette for now and later on once I'm done with the series I will go through all my lipsticks and if I have a dream for this one I will declutter it, otherwise I will probably keep it just for the shade of it. And there we have the Primark lipstick on my hand. And then the last lipstick we have for this round is the one that I'm wearing currently. And this one is from Maybelline and it's one of their matte lipsticks in the shade Nude Nuance. I really like this shade and 
although it is kind of like more of a fall shade again I have actually been loving wearing this um, with the orange toned eyeshadows that I've been wearing recently it's just a really nice like shade to wear and it's quite funny because I would say that this is more cool tone but it works really well with kind of orangey shades and I think maybe because I think maybe that's because of brown undertones in the lipstick and there is some warmth to it but it's still I would say that like it's more of a mauvey brown maybe it's a really interesting lipstick and I do love it um again it's one that I probably will reach for more in the fall time but I'm actually surprised of how much use I got out of this one for the last two weeks um being kind of entering spring and stuff but it's a beautiful shade I do love it I love this formula I have quite a few of them and they are so beautiful on the lips I adore them so yeah this is no question staying in my collection and there you have the final lipstick swatched on my hand. So out of those five, we have one lipstick that we're decluttering, one that is going in my maybe pile, and three that I'm keeping. So let's move on to picking some new lipsticks for next round. And I do have my bag here with my lippies. Um, it's actually getting quite light. So I don't know how many lipsticks I have. I reckon there's going to be at least five more rounds, but it's getting lighter, which is kind of fun. So let's just start by pulling some shades. The first one will be... A MAC lipstick and this one is in the shade Pink Pearl Pop. And there we have Pink Pearl Pop swatched on my hand. Now from first impression, interestingly enough, this actually looks quite similar to the Primark lipstick. It's a tiny bit more pink, so hopefully those are similar enough for me to want to keep the, this one and declutter the Primark one. But that is the first lipstick. The second lipstick will be... This one which is from Revlon and this is one of their Colorburst lip butters in the shade Sweet Tart. And there we have the second shade swatch on my hand. The third lipstick for this round will be this one, which is another Revlon lipstick. This is one of the matte bombs, though, in the shade Complex. And there we have Complex swatch on my hand. The fourth lipstick will be this one, which is another one from Primark, kind of funnily enough. And this one again doesn't have a shade name, it just has one of those color, like number combinations which is PS2495-00. And there we have the primer lipstick swatch on my hand. And then for the final lipstick for this round we have this one which is another one of my MAC lipsticks and this one is in Chile. And there we have Chile swatched on my hand. So those you guys will be the lipsticks for next round and luckily I got that last shade because otherwise it would have been very pink eh, apart from the complex shade as well as chili. So yeah, I'm excited for playing with these. I definitely feel like this is more of a spring appropriate palette than last round though so I'm really really excited. But those are the shades that I will be playing with and yeah guys that was all for this video. I really really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give it a thumbs up. I would love if you do that and also check out the rest of my lipstick roulettes. I will leave the playlist up in the cards. Uh, so yeah, I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.